guys, how you doing? Jack here. So um, today I thought I would demonstrate how to play uh, a song using one string, um, like a beginner way, and then how to progress and make it sound more advanced. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to play the uh, the riff just using one finger on the one string. So the string that we'll be using is this uh, low E. I'm tuned to standard. I'm just using the uh, Squire Stratocaster that I thought I'd play. So we're on one string uh, and we're using one finger. So your pointer finger or whatever finger you want to play with. Normally I just use my pointer finger. And the riff goes like this. Uh, the riff is Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. So quite a simple riff. It's quite repetitive throughout the whole uh, song. So what we're going to do is seven on uh, seven fret on the low E string and then once more so you got like that and then after there we're gonna go up to the 10th fret one time like that and then back to the seventh fret so from the top we got and again, notice that I'm still using one finger. So from the top we have this. And then from there we're going fifth fret. Down to the third fret. So that's fifth fret, low E. And then, um, so from the top we got. And then from the third fret of the low E, we're going to the second fret of the low E. So that's. So from the top, this is uh, the main riff of the whole song. Um, so the second time round of playing it, you're varying uh, the riff slightly. So it was going. Um, so the second time round it's seven, like the normal uh, first part. But when you get to the three, the third fret of the low E, you're going up to the fifth fret. Uh, and then third fret and then second fret on, all on the low E string. So it's... So that's that. Um, I'll play it round, uh, play it once round for you guys to hear. go to an open E string so it's just literally playing the E string open and then you're playing the second fret on the low E string and then back into the riff That is like the beginner way of playing it with just the one string and the one finger uh, and then to make it sound more sort of of a heavier sound we're gonna add in uh, a second finger and that second finger is gonna be your third finger so if you count one two three third finger uh, and then we're literally adding that on so this is your A string we were playing on first and then you're adding it onto the A string so that's one string down and then two frets up. You see that? So one string down and then your two two strings up, two frets up. Sorry, from your first uh, finger. And uh, that is so you're going to be using that same position uh, for the same riff that I taught you. So we're going seven, seven fret uh, with your first finger bar in the seventh fret and then your third finger on the uh, ninth fret of the A string like that and then the, it's playing the same 
riff around. Uh... And then when we go down to that E uh, open E string, we're going to put the first finger on the second fret of the A there to get a heavy like, power chord sound. For those who don't know what a power chord is, it's basically uh, using the root of the original chord and the fifth, um, the fifth interval of the chord that you're playing. So you've got second fret on the A string and open E string. And then you're going to uh, the second fret on the low E string and the fourth fret on the A string. So that uh, playing that round again with the with those two fingers sounds like this. sound even more advanced uh, coming from just doing that single string one at the start we're going to add a third finger and the third finger that we're going to add uh, try not to get confused by this is the pinky finger so literally we're putting pinky finger on the or your four finger so one two three four finger we're putting um, the four finger on the ninth fret of the D string and leaving your other two fingers where they were before so you got your third finger on the ninth fret of the A string and then your first finger on the uh, seventh fret of the low E string and you're playing that same riff finger which is your uh, second finger um, to the G string uh, if you count uh, so you got E A D G string uh, which is the four string down and you're going to be playing the uh, eighth fret on the G string uh, with the rem other fingers remaining where they were um, in the other demonstration so the first chord should look like this so you're playing the uh, seventh fret on the low E uh, A string on the ninth fret D string on the ninth fret uh, G string on the eighth fret and then when you start up to the tenth fret you got a uh, tenth fret on the low E with, with your first finger 12 and 12 on the D A and D string and then uh, 11 on your G string with your middle finger with this, this finger. So you got back to 7th. And then you have a 5th fret with the same chord. Which is 5 on the low E, uh, 7, 7 on the A and D and then G string on the 6th fret. And then uh, sliding that same position down to the third fret and then down to the second fret so you got and then the last thing that I'm gonna show you what I'm doing to get that sort of rhythm uh, sound in it is literally um, so uh sounds like this. So how how am I adding rhythm uh to the this riff? I'm literally just playing seventh fret on the A string once 
and then taking the pressure off the strings, literally not playing anything, just muting the strings so I'm not squeezing down. And then I'm slapping or strumming all six strings with my pick, uh, picking hand, so I'm going. So the ones that I'm uh, slapping down or strumming all six strings to get the rhythm is uh, second strum on the uh, seventh fret, and then you're going seven, ten, seven, five, three, strum with the mute, and then second fret, strum, and then mute. So it's like, oops, sorry. Play, you play, 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 you play, you play, you. So you kind of get a feel for it when you're when you're actually playing it. Um, so yeah, that's been a little tutorial of how to turn a basic one string uh, riff with one finger from a beginner uh, beginner's way of playing it up to more sort of technical advanced with uh with playing full chords um yeah so uh that's just how to sort of progress from being a beginner playing the basic riff up to an advanced way of making it sound more um i don't know uh, professional and advanced um, and more in oh, more interesting so yeah uh, that's been a little lesson in today's video uh, I hope you enjoy this little um, this little tip from progressing from playing the riff with uh, one finger and one string to playing a riff on uh, most of the strings uh, if you have let me know in the comments uh, please like the video subscribe for more content and I will see you in my next video